Okay, so welcome back. I'm doing another short video. I've got uh, Slate and CW with me today, and uh, they're going to be my passengers. Now you're going to have to imagine Pod, my destinations. Pod, yeah, you're going to have to imagine the destination this time because uh, I haven't built the platform for getting people on all the actual uh, stations. But I just want to demonstrate the idea. In here, we've got uh, build blocks around permission blocks and gravity blocks on both sides at each end. So there's loads of room for passengers in here. I think it's four, eight, well, 24 passengers plus as many as I can get in, in gravity inside a sector. It works like a train, as this, this is the shroom train. It's got just enough uh, thrust so that it can break, but not so much that it accelerates like a, like a rocket ship. Uh, the faction block is at the front and the ship core is just up ahead. I'm going to demonstrate this for you now and jump in. Now straight away you can see I'm facing forwards, so if I hit C, it's perfectly aligned and hopefully shouldn't deviate. If I hit left shift and right shift at the same time, then zoom out. I've got a good view of the train, I can see the guys jumping up and down inside and uh, we can use the front, obviously the front is this way so all I have to do is use WSAD and just literally go straight down the rail so we're going to go left to the middle where I'm going to show you the junction box So there we are, stop perfectly on the junction. From here we can go up, down, left, right, or forward and backwards. So we'll just do forward and backwards first. The best thing about this system is it can keep going all the way through sectors. It shouldn't drag, and uh, as you can see, whoop, quick before we go off the edge of the sector and I lose my passengers. Let's go back. I could build that track out as far as I want, I could have some stations on there. And the idea is we've got a way to navigate quickly around to other structures without them actually being attached. So if we go back here, we can go straight across this junction. You can see that because of the fact that we're using C to level the ship, it's all built perfectly on an angle. So there it is, straight through. And then finally we do the up-down. Obviously I could have stations, I was thinking about making uh, a uh, plex door, you know, which could block the track at the edge of the sector boundary, get everybody to get in a build block. And before you know it, you've got a train track going across sectors. So here we have the bottom of the track, if you can see here I'm way down at the bottom of the racetrack here, I plan to go another junction that goes forwards, so you can make junctions that allow you to go forward, left, right at any point, so if we go up here to the junction, and I'm going to take everyone back to where they were now, so okay. uh, just got to time the shift. Out, yeah. Did I lose yeah, you guys? I must have gone across the sector boundary. <laughs> I'll come get you. It's good as a lift as well, if you think about it. Are you guys near the train now? Yeah, there you are. Oh, uh, I'm in. Where are you? You're back on. So it's a, bit, okay. it's a bit tricky when I'm talking. Whoops, yes. missed the junction. How long until the first train accident? <laughs> <laughs> See that stopper works quite well. Right, we're at the destination guys, there you have it. So, what do you think of my train prototype guys? I like it. Great concept. 
Well, I'm not going to lie, I stole a little bit from Skylord Luke's base from way, way, way back. And I just, when I first way thought... Way back in the day. Yeah, I saw it on his planet, and I first, when I first saw it, I thought, hey, I could make this go three dimensions. And it took me a while to figure it out, but I messed it up a few times. But I think I'm finally, finally getting close to a uh, finished design. I'm just going to show people that. Oh yeah, the space penny farthing. <laughs> but yeah, so there it is. Uh, inter, or in, in, well, sector transport plus possible intersector transport. We'll have to see how it develops, but uh, definitely a nice way to get around if you don't want to core it, if you want to take a load of people. Obviously we've got ships, but it's just something else to add to your stations. So, there you go. Mass transit, I think they call it, but whatever. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.